What's up, Wikimaniacs? On today's episode, we have a brutally honest teacher, a maid of honor kicked out of the wedding party, a niece receives a terrible birthday gift, a boyfriend who is trapped, and a Halloween costume causes some stress in a marriage. For the Patreon exclusive stories, we have a partner who lies about having a vasectomy, and a partner doesn't go to bed the same time as their partner. So, if those stories sound interesting to you, head on over to patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network to get those as well as ad free episodes and episodes a day early. Reddit on wiki starts now. What is up, Wikimaniacs? It's your boy Josh here for another Am I the Asshole Friday. I am, of course, joined by the trio for the last time for at least a week. Uh, I got Just John, a and week. Sh- John and Sean here. Uh, John, we're kind of matching today. Yeah, I'm kind of like fucking it. pissed, yeah, I, actually. Y'all didn't give me the yeah. goddamn memo. Actually, <laughs> I messaged you, Sean. I was like, hey, you do you have a flannel? Because I want to fuck with Josh for this oh, recording. Did you? Fuck so with I me. did message this you, buddy. The best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's on you, brother. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the last two hours of work, I'm trying to get everything done on, on Wednesdays. I'm trying to get <laughs> everything super fucking done quick so I could get here on time. Fair. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. If you message me in the last hour and a half, two hours, I'm probably not going to see it. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. Sean was on. T- Sean was on time today. Actually, so. he was the first one. Actually, yeah. he was the first one. I think, crazy. Yeah. Uh, behind Damn, the scenes, that wild. is very rare. <laughs> so. Very rare. <laughs> uh, but what's up, boys? How you been? I'm ready to leave, brother. Pretty good. <laughs> I'm just so ready to go. This recording or or the states? Oh no, no, <laughs> no just I, the states in general. Yeah. Trust I me, if you. we were about to go to Japan in a few days, we'd also be like, let's hurry this fucking shit up. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Um, yeah, John, you'll have to keep us updated with your trip. Uh, let us know how it goes. We're going to see yeah, so Juliet much she's gonna send sushi, videos. so much <laughs> Wagyu. Mm. It's going to be crazy. Damn. I'm going to live through and y'all. I'm going to be I'm, in freezing Canada where it's already <laughs> snowing. <laughs> I'm going to live my luxurious bitch life and I'm excited. I like it. I like it. All right, boys. Well, let's uh, hop into the first story here. Today's is a special episode. I've done completely our own Reddit stories. It's all AI. Uh, oh. uh, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, so the all these stories are from uh, listeners of the show. Um, Whoa. Pre- presumably, I guess. They, Do they, they know they who we are? All personal, <laughs> all personal stories? No, 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 no. They're just like cross-posted on our subreddit. Is oh, what okay. Also, what okay. I do regularly yeah. every episode. Oopsies. True, but I meant even the patron side is is all oh. uh, from our from our subreddit from pa- from people that are patrons. Don't worry, okay. I'm not li- <laughs> dead ass. We could cut this out. How do y'all know that they're patrons? Uh, I usually communicate with a lot of the people in our community. So <laughs> oh, sick, sick, sick. Yeah, cut yeah, this yeah. out because I do not. <laughs> I know the people on Discord, and then that's it. <laughs> if you're not tagged, you're not hearing it. No. Um. So the first one. <laughs> Is uh, is from a goat, uh, cross posted by Phoebe the fan, hey. and the title is "Am I the asshole for complaining about the signs at my daughter's preschool?" God damn it! Uh, complaining about the signs at your daughter's preschool. Let's see. I'm getting a, me and John are matched right now, right? Yeah, we are. Yeah, the, that's all the right. score right there. It's zero zero. Well, I mean, you got it all perfect last We're week. We're tied. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I got to get in the mind of John for this one. Dick, stick, stick. <laughs> hub, 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 Japan, hub. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to say complaining about the sign. You were looking out for your kids, uh, so I'll say not the asshole. Okay, and John, where oh, are But you John is from? also HR. He'll be like, those motherfuckers know what they're doing. They know the signage. You're the asshole. <laughs> Fuck! I fucked it up. That's where I'm going, buddy. Yeah, you want to yeah. retract? You want to retract your no, shit? No, <laughs> I'll... Play to the rules of the white man. I, I said a thing. <laughs> There's no takesy backs. I don't want us to be divided. Yeah, it's okay. I, yeah, you pretty much said what I was gonna say. I yeah. feel like preschools are there. There's tends to be a little more like stringent with the rules because like health, health, safety, and all that. So 
I feel like if parents don't adhere to the signs, there's more like endangerment for kids. So I'm gonna go with asshole. They had to one. put the sign there because somebody fucked it up for everybody else. I'm sure. <laughs> now, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, that makes I would a lot go of that sense. Way. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I like the. I got the first split of the month. This is this is wonderful. Damn it, Sean, I thought I'm we were so gonna sorry. be united. Brother. I apologize. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's hop into it and see who is right. So my daughter, three, just started preschool and has a teacher who I'm guessing is about college age, who is very honest sometimes, coming off as a bit rude. I had to stop allowing my daughter to bring her toys to school because they always get lost, and this teacher is no help when it comes to finding them. She Not brought her a little job. Lego. <laughs> yeah. She brought a little Lego creation that she wanted to show her friends, but didn't have it at the end of the day. I asked the teacher where it was, but she didn't know. I asked her to look for it, and she said that there is no way she'd be able to tell our Legos from theirs, and that my daughter would not be able to get her Legos back. Label them. Facts. <laughs> yeah. Literally what we did when I grew up, like anything had our names on it. <laughs> yeah, it's like Toy Story, Andy on the bottom of the action figure. Yeah, <laughs> <True>. exactly. <laughs> uh, another time she went to school with a sticker on her shirt. She was crying when I picked her up because the sticker was gone. I asked the teacher to look for it and she said, I will not be tearing apart my classroom and playground to find a sticker that fell off four hours ago. It's fact. Uh, I mean, I love the teacher's bluntness. <laughs> Me too. Look, she's Some parents need to hear that shit sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's for sure. a preschool teacher. I got to assume the class size are probably big. Uh, yeah. If there are 10 preschool kids, I am not worried about their personal belongings uh, that they probably should not be bringing. Uh, you shouldn't be bringing little Legos and toys to school. If it's a bit, if it's a sticker, it's a sticker, buddy. That's going to... It's going to be gone. It's yeah, going to be gone. Stickers are... Yeah, not... They're in preschool. <laughs> oh, yeah. I fucked up. I lost this one. Uh, so other kids have gone home with my daughter's jacket, and we've had to wait weeks one time to get it back. Oh, that's crazy. Lately, there have been two notices taped to the window that I'm certain are written by this teacher. The first one says, your child is not the only one with a pink puffer jacket or Moana water bottle. Please label your child's belongings to ensure that they go home with the right person. There you go. Yeah. And the second one says, we understand caring for a sick child is difficult, but 12 of them isn't any easier. Please keep your children at home if they have these symptoms. Facts. Uh, both very yep. good uh, signs, I think. Josh, don't, did it, weren't you just sick because you were exposed to children? <laughs> I was. Or Sienna was exposed to children? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, because I did the haunted house, and I'm pretty oh, sure that's, that's right. That's right. Which there were kids there, yeah. So fuck them, kids, man. <laughs> uh, so in my opinion, there's absolutely no reason for these notes to be snarky and obviously aimed at very specific parents. I complained to the director about this teacher's conduct and the notices on the window, but nothing has come of it. My husband thinks I'm overreacting. Yeah. So am I the asshole for complaining? Yeah. It sounds like the shoe fits. <laughs> so Cinderella. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of shoes, label them so yeah. they know which one is which. Dude, it's I, not hard like, to put like the name on like the tag of a jacket or on the bottom of a bottle or on the yeah. bottom of a Legos are hard. Mm -hmm. You're not going to fucking initial every single Lego, but you should, probably shouldn't bring Legos to school. <laughs> I don't know. And invest in like a label maker or something. True. Yeah. I mean, I mean, even permanent marker works just as well. Yeah. Like permanent a, marker is good. Like you said, on jackets or anything like that. That's what mm -hmm. we did growing up. Uh, because my parents were like, we're tired of you losing mitts because we lost mitts all the time. <laughs> and so we had wow. them labeled. And uh, Truly a problem no we I never had growing I up. I never had yeah. to experience that. Yeah, I guess that's a uh, Canadian or Northern thing, I guess. Northern so, for sure. Uh, yeah, but uh, any of our stuff, we had our names on it so that yeah, you didn't lose it to another kid or uh, if you did lose it and lost and found, it was very easily uh, identifiable. So... Uh, <sighs> Crazy, crazy for you Damn to it, assume. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Reddit deemed asshole in our comments. Uh, Munchkins Dragon said, I feel like I must be old now. Is this what the kids are calling main character syndrome these days? Ooh, I, it, also, it's about right. <laughs> why the fuck aren't par parents labeling their kids stuff? Uh, so, yeah, this is what the kids call main character syndrome, I think. Um, Very much so. It's pretty accurate. Uh, How do you do, fellow children? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that <laughs> feels that's good. The, that's the, is that yeah, the, that, that's that's the that's, Steve, Steve Buscemi movie? Yeah, that is. But it's just it's just as creepy when <laughs> us 30 plus year old men say it as Steve Buscemi. <sighs> I'm struggling to You're put right. your point on the board, John. That, it's okay. 
It might go down anyways. There we go. It's up there. All right. So we got our first point of the month. The white devil got us. <laughs> the <pun laughs> he, he divided us, my brother. The white devil separated us. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I am the problem. <laughs> All right. So the next uh, story we got here is cross posted by lower score, sky score, lower score. And the title is, am I the asshole for kicking my maid of honor out of my wedding with five days notice? Mm. And John, you were up first. Five days notice. The title itself sounds egregious, right? Five days is crazy short notice time. However, yeah. comma, there's got to be something that the maid of honor did to get kicked out of that situation because that maid of honor is generally responsible for a lot of the logistics of the wedding, right? So True. for them to be kicked out that close of the period, I got to say the maid of honor did something really, really shady. So I'm going to go out of the limb and say not the asshole for this one. Okay. What are you saying, Sean? Yeah, I'll just agree because you fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. we'll pick yeah. a story that I like. I'll go the other way, so then you know you're right, all right? So I got you, bro. Sure. No, but I, I do, I do seriously agree. Uh, five days is pretty egregious, but I agree. I mean, you're not doing, you're not just doing that without having like something terrible reason, happen. It's right? not like an yeah. easy decision to make. Clearly, if you're writing about it on Reddit, so I, I think she's probably well within reason to do what she had to do. Fair enough. All right. All right. Back to being united. I like it. Do uh, you? Do you wait, like is it? Nancy next to you, Sean? <laughs> yes, she is next to me. Oh, I hear, I hear typing. Hi, Nancy. Oh, is that what it, I thought it was uh, one of the core views in the back. <laughs> no, 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 no she's, she's typing. She's typing a little bit too loud. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh! <laughs> Look at the fear in his eyes. <laughs> Did you hear the typing stop? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, all right. We'll have to have Nancy on next week when John's gone. Yeah, I told her people were were uh, requesting her presence, demanding uh, more than request. It's a demand True. more than <laughs> yeah. request. Um, all she right. could save me. I, I believe in her. True. She probably could, actually. She listens. Honestly, all yeah. three of the women in our lives could replace the show and probably be much more successful, to be honest. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> uh, all right. So I'm 23 female, getting married in a couple days. Most of this is in the last two weeks. My maid of honor, 26 female, M, was in charge of planning my bachelorette party, which I wanted to be a surprise. We live in a city, but none of us live downtown. So I was hoping for a hotel room downtown and having a fun night out with friends, maybe a brunch. Most of the bridal party lives locally, but two girls flew in for it. Also, uh, so <laughs> this is this is a, uh, just a nitpick for me, but because uh, we're being very blatant with what we want with our bachelor bachelorette parties with our friends. Uh, if you want that stuff, just tell your friend that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't be like, I want a surprise and then. Uh, hope for things because it's <laughs> yeah. gonna be whatever. You know? uh, just a side note. I wanted a surprise, but I also wanted to not do things. And I told yeah. him, "Hey, I don't want to do this." Things happened that I didn't want to do. Uh, <laughs> just the peer pressure. I could tell other people really wanted to do that thing that usually happens at bachelor parties. Oh yeah, it was I see more so for them than me. I will say this. I was the very first person in our friend group that got married. So I was the guinea pig. Same. And I got married. I got married young. <laughs> so I got married when I was 23. So like everyone was like super like immature and not very good at organizing shit. Bro, I got in trouble my wedding day because they did it the day before the wedding. And I was like, y'all oh, should have planned this shit. Dude. They think it's a goddamn movie. Oh, yeah. I think it's a fucking they movie it was for a goddamn, real. <laughs> Boy, I was sweating bullets during the ceremony. I was like, Holy, I'm so fucking sorry. That's a lot of babe. stress. Like, I, did, I did not want this shit. John lived I the was real hangover crying movie. crying <laughs> inside. The glare that Juliet gave me, and I was just like, I'm so sorry. I had nothing to do with this. Starting the marriage off hot. At that point, oh. I'd just be like, we'll do it after the wedding. You know uh, what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It was also complicated for us because like I w we were stationed elsewhere. So we got uh, our wedding was in San Diego. So logistically, it was hard to plan to begin with. But right. the way they last minute everything, 
I never want anyone to experience the shit that I experienced that night. Yeah, ours is going to be like a month Ooh. and a half before the way. Yeah, that's the that's the way to Good. do it. That's the yeah. smart way to do it. I'm pretty sure that's what all of the bridal parties that I've been a part of have done it. But we've also all been like 26 to 30-ish. Yeah. Juliet's bachelor party happened like months before. So I was like, man, your friends are good. My boys, no, they don't listen. So like y'all fucked up. Jesus. Hey, Patrick is a fucking patron. Not anymore, I think. But oh, is he, not? he can oh. hear this. Yeah, this is on the main anyway. Yeah, this is on the main anyway. Well, I was just trying to say up. if he's a patron, I'm, he's got to be listening, right? It's okay. I'll see, I'll, I'll see him in, in, in a month We're going to a Raiders game together. Nice. Nice. All right. So. Uh, when M picked me up two weeks ago on a Friday, I was excited to see where we were going and what we were doing. We ended up going to M's one bedroom town home and spent the whole weekend there. There are eight of us, so it was cramped and we kept running into the issue with only one bathroom. <laughs> on Friday night, we had games and ordered pizza. On Saturday, we had mimosa bar, went shopping, ordered food and watched a movie before parting ways on Sunday. It wasn't the bachelorette of my dreams or a particularly fun weekend, but it was okay and I appreciated it. It wasn't fun? God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I, th- I think... I think when I people know, fly I, from out of town, if you're just together, that should be fun. That's what I was going to say. Vibe, we yeah. might be Any, wrong here, John. Any times with my friends. I don't know if this is fireable offense so far. <laughs> Not yet. There's always that plot twist, brother. Well, there wait. is more. Okay. There is more. Because so far, uh, not great, but also not, not, not fireable. Great. Not yeah, fireable, I mean, in my opinion. That's a passable bachelorette party, I would say, yeah. in my opinion. Um, last weekend, my fiance, 32 male, Jay, had just returned from a work trip. Also, side note, he's 32, she's 23. This is weird, but we'll, we'll move on from that because that's not the main point of the story. But uh, just a, just a, <laughs> definitely breaking the genre for Y'all sure. Y'all know how I feel. <laughs> That boy got the lips pouting. Yeah. You know what's up. Yeah. <laughs> How long ago so we all start dating? <laughs> I knew it. There it is. Yeah. Questionable for sure. Uh, hey, my long time s- boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by long time? Oh, ten, oh, ten years. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah. So that's a whole side story that we don't even get into in this, but I just wanted to flag that for you guys. Uh, So last weekend, my fiance, 32 male, Jay, had just returned from a work trip. I hadn't caught him up to speed on the party because there wasn't much to report. But when he returned, we were chatting and I told him about the party. He looked confused and said nothing else that evening. The next day, I got a message from M asking me to meet up to talk about something. M revealed that Jay had given her a significant amount of money over a year ago uh, with the intention that it was used to be paid for the bachelor party or bachelor ooh, party. There's the plot twist. Okay, this fireable offense for sure. It would it would have been enough to pay for the entire bridal party to do a week long vacation out of town, including airfare, hotels, food, drinks, and fun. I wasn't expecting this type of event. A weekend downtown would have been wonderful. And even though the party at her home wasn't what I hoped for. I was fine with it because I got to be with all my friends. She instead used the money to pay off her credit card debt and hope that no one would notice. <gasps> Girl. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I t- <laughs> we are right. I told her I need some time to process and went home. After talking with Jay about it, I decided that the best action would be to remove her from the wedding. I yeah. came to this decision because I don't feel like I can trust her and I don't want her standing there next to me at my wedding. I slept on it overnight and sent her a text saying this on Monday morning. Since then, I have been getting texts from her mom and boyfriend telling me how awful I am for doing this. I don't, and that I didn't need a big party and M was able to financially benefit, which is the issue. Girl. (laughs) Ain't ain't no way. (laughs) She essentially stole thousands of dollars. Airfare yeah. for the yeah. whole bridal party and stay elsewhere. A whole ass. You gotta imagine week that's long. Ba- you gotta imagine that's like a couple of that, like more than a couple thousand, right? I don't know. Yeah, they said ten, right? They, no, they, they just they said, said sizable amount. Oh, said, said, oh sizable, sizable amount. amount. Yeah. Um, so my mom is also against me removing her from the wedding, as she's like a sister to our family, and it would be tragic for me to get married without M there. The rest of the bridal party is split, with half saying I shouldn't have kicked her out, and the other half agreeing with me. Emma's called me crying because she's already seen her dress, which Jay and I paid for the dresses, and she can't wear it anywhere else. 
At this point, I want the wedding to be over with so I can go on my honeymoon and not have to deal with these people. So was my action too extreme? Am I the asshole? No. <laughs> no. Look, okay, so let's say roughly airfare stay uh, is roughly... We'll you don't have to estimate. I'll tell you what the number is eventually. I just oh, want okay. to get I'm like, this is seven to a thousand dollars per person. <laughs> Depending, this is like close to ten thousand uh, dollars. I'm imagining. I will see if I'm right on the math. But that's a large amount of money. And if you're just hosting it at your house and, and you just playing games it. at your house, <laughs> I don't think you spent of- any money. To is, for this at all, all of the money went to your amount. debt. That's <laughs> yeah. crazy. If they played Monopoly, that would have been the biggest fucking. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, we played Monopoly because I kept the real money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I just take some money from you? <laughs> Pay off these debts. Oh, dude, that's crazy. Absolutely insane. That's crazy. Um, so Reddit deem not the asshole, uh, and someone asked her how much money. Did, uh, Can we guess? Sure, go ahead. Guess. 15,000. I said around 10. So you're both incorrect, but John is closest. <gasps> if you put your numbers together, that is the number it is. 25,000 $25, dollars. <laughs> I am going to court. <laughs> oh, I am suing the Yo. fuck out of you. <laughs> Yo. But if you give money to somebody like that, like, do you have any legal bounds? You're kind of just. Well, uh, that's where it gets tricky. You're kind right? of that's just. He an, says, she uh, says. An idiot for trust. Rebecca. But, <laughs> but my God. $25,000. First off, you're 23 with 23. I'm not judging. I, I, I have a sizable amount of debt as well. So <laughs> I can't talk. But that's quite a bit for 20. I imagine you're like 23. Uh, uh the the friend she's twenty six I think oh twenty six okay yeah <laughs> the way the way I'm kidnapping and holding her for ransom <laughs> this point. no for real how I okay. got that Does, money back <laughs> are all the people telling you that you're overreacting do they know it's twenty five thousand they probably didn't they have say no I don't know clue she no. she needs to be like look your daughter stole twenty five thousand dollars from my soon to be husband yeah you think that's okay you think I should just stand by by her at the altar I don't think so. My P word soon to be husband. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if I'm rocking with her for the rest of my life. $25,000. No. Look, I'd be mad at like, honestly, $500. I'd be mad. Honestly, yeah. $500. I'd be like, bitch, you spent my $500 on what? Uh, Crazy. 20? Hold on, I'm distracted. Five. Hold on, I'm distracted. Is that, chi- is, is that Chippa? Wow. Is that Chippa? Oh, yeah, Chippa is asleep. Yeah, yeah, Chippa's yeah, she's first there. appearance. <gasps> yeah, make me some money, Chippa. Like, Chippa. Something is moving. It's Chippa. Hi, Aww. Chippa. Oh, yeah, she, I don't know if you can see her oh, face. Oh, look at that big oh, yeah, eye. You can, see her eye. you can see her eye a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I was distracted. I was like, fuck, I'm fixated on the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, someone whiter than me on the show. <laughs> <laughs> A new one white point devil. for Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll add my name up there. <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, I, I wanted to get your opinion before I, I said the number. Wild. Uh, yeah. Clearly not the asshole. I'm oh surprised you're not more God. furious by this. That is absolutely insane. Um, Someone's going to jail. Look, she's bro. getting away with yeah. this scot free besides just yeah. not coming to a wedding. Yeah, and I guess I'm losing her, a friend, but also yeah. how much do you care about your friend if you're willing to do that? You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, Chip, for real. More in yeah. camera. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh, make my me money. Gosh. There we go. Make me you money, make girl. Chip a merch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we could chip away on this debt that for we have. For real. Chip <laughs> yeah. You guys got 25 grand you can loan me? That'd be cool. That's <laughs> shit. You know so what I'm saying? Crazy. Oh, yeah. Imagine Insane. having 25 grand a month for patrons. That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah. Everybody <laughs> on the subreddit just became a one dollar <laughs> patron. I beg of y'all. Uh, I mean, ninety percent of y'all don't subreddit. listen to this, right? Because y'all yeah. don't know we exist. The people listening to this now All listen right. to this, but yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyway, if you're not a patron, we're gonna hit a quick ad break here. Uh, if you are a patron, no ad break. We don't have those on that side, so consider subscribing. Uh, But for everyone else, here's a break. 
What's up, Wikimaniacs? It's your boy, Sean. Have you ever wanted to see John, Josh, and I fully spread Eagle Giant showing? Well, <laughs> December 2nd, 11 a.m. Central, 12 p.m. Eastern. If you're in another time zone, do the math. You could do it. I believe in you. We will be doing our first in-person live show. We'll be reading stories. We'll be eating snacks. We'll be hunting Greg Abbott. We'll be doing a bunch <laughs> of stuff. But yeah, if you want to see us live in a room together for the very first time, join us. Live stream. We have the link somewhere, and I bet you could find it. It's Eventbrite. It's there. That's the promo. Perfect Thank promo. you so much. <laughs> Love you guys. December. What he said. He did it. Second, 11 a.m. Central. Do the math otherwise. Tickets we'll on sale there. now. Buy Tickets on now. sale now. 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 And we are back. During the break, Sean loaned me $25,000. What's um, crazy hey, is that I stole that from, from the Venmos. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I fucking wish I had twenty. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I promised him a, bir- a cool birthday party, so uh, I'm gonna go j- with John to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Without me, that's so fucked. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. so <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Uh, oh, but I'll boy. invite you over for a weekend. We can do pizza in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> Watch hockey together. Yeah, true. You think I want go. fucking pizza after watching y'all have A5 Waggy? That's crazy. $25,000. Uh, that might be the most agreed. That's pretty terrible. One of the biggest thefts we've seen on the show. Yeah, sure. that's oh, yeah. wild. Uh, um, all right. So this next one, cross-posted by, I think, a new... Uh, someone new on mine anyway. Uh, and they've got two stories, I think, today. <gasps> oh, look at you. So it's cross-posted by Dog Vader. And oh, yeah, I've used the, them. Nice. Have you used them? Okay. I, I don't think I have. So new new for the Am I the Asshole show. But the title is, Am I the Asshole for Giving My Niece the Birthday Present She Asked For? All right. So I'm thinking that the niece asked for something like a fucking, just given the spooky time that we're recording this at. Probably some fucking horror movie shit, and the parents don't want mm. her to have horror movie shit. Um, yeah, I mean, I would be mad if I was the parent. I know John is going to go another way. I'll probably be wrong anyways, <laughs> but I'll probably go asshole. If you're buying a present for a little kid, you should probably like let the parents know what it is. If you have at least a little inkling that it might be oh, suspicious. Damn. Like, okay, maybe the kid shouldn't have this. Let me broach it across the parents just to verify. Right. Ah. Okay. Damn, you make now good John's point. thinking. <laughs> Damn, you make a good point. Yeah, because if it's a fucking six year old and, and the six year old tells me I fucking love Cheech and Chong, I would love some <laughs> Cheech and Chong shit. And I'd be like, yeah, dude, for sure. I'll fucking get you a fucking bong. I don't know. And then, you know, you the alarm should go off to be like, yeah, I should probably talk to my, uh, you know, sibling and make sure that's cool. Yeah. All right. Sean talked me into it. I'm going to go with what he, he said. All right. We're riding nice. together. So regardless, you're, you're, you're already good. It's a rarity for Sean to sway you, John. I like it. Well, Sean, Sean uh, does have nieces and nephews, so like I feel like oh, he's true. a little more experienced in this in this he, matter than I do. He's a pro. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully. All right. Well, let's see if you guys are correct. So this week, my niece turned six. When I met her last week, That's I asked, a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and she She's, loves Cheech and Chong. You nailed this one. Holy <laughs> shit! I fucking knew it. She loves weed. <laughs> She's a stoner. Um, so when I met her last week, I asked her what she wanted for her birthday. She asked for a Barbie, but not mm. the original Barbie. It was a horse with a doll. She knew exactly which one because it looked like the horse in her riding class and the doll kind of looked like her. We might have been wrong on this one. At least we're wrong together. Yeah. True. True. Uh, the horse and the doll look natural and the doll is not an adult and wears riding clothes. The brand is a local German brand. I asked her if she already had asked anyone else for it, which she hadn't. So I bought it and gave it to her. When her mom freaked out and took it away, I didn't understand why. But my niece was really upset. So I tried talking to my sister-in-law. She was very angry at me because I did not ask her if I was allowed to give her such a toy. That Barbie is sexualizing little girls and she does not want to support that franchise. She did not want to talk about it and the party was over. So am I the asshole for giving my niece the toy she asked for? No, that's a child's no. toy for a child. Yeah. They fucked this one up. But uh, the logic was sound. <laughs> the logic was sound, I'll say. It was uh, sound. It made sense. It made sense. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, had this been a fucking Chucky doll or some shit, maybe, you know what I mean? Maybe that's something <laughs> to bring up. Be like, hey, 
I don't really want my six year old to be like loving this stabby stabs, this murder <laughs> shit, these rated R movies. Uh, but yeah, Barbie is meant for kids, and it's yeah. I don't I don't know that that wouldn't ring any alarms to be like ah oh, maybe I should make sure that it's okay. It's yeah. like if you bought a Lego set and they're like, actually, Legos are fucking for adults only. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then, you know, I, I might I might I might be a little ignorant on this, but why is Barbie considered sexualized? I don't oh, think, man, I think Have you not this seen the is, Barbie movie. It's probably I mean, I've seen the movie. I thought it was pretty good, but I didn't think I didn't. I guess I didn't see the sexual undertone behind it. <laughs> that was a lot of the movie, I think. <laughs> really? I, I, the, I didn't notice it. The original Barbie was for sure, like, it, it was very sexualized. Uh, mm. But, the, I mean, the Barbie movie was a lot more about women taking control of their own, uh, you know, lives and, and image and stuff like that. So, uh, not that the Barbie movie was sexualizing women, but Barbie originally did sexualize women. Um, eh. So I didn't have toys growing up, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> but... That's besides the point because this isn't even a Barbie, technically. <laughs> yeah, is it? It's like another. They said it was like a, a German a local one? local German brand. Yes, um, I, I I have some more information. So some more context. Uh, Op in the comments uh, said the thing is this wasn't even Barbie. The brand is Schleckel Schletch, maybe. Uh, German Wikimedia. Let us know how to pronounce that. Well, please. it's almost spelled like my name, so I should oh. know it. Um, I don't know if it's international. My sister-in-law and niece called it Barbie, but it isn't. I hadn't expected this reaction. And I will show you guys because they link uh, the Barbie here. So I'll show you what it looks like and you can judge whether this is a sexualized uh, toy or not. Yeah, the thing is unless just like... Bar unless that Barbie's butt naked, then... Can you see what it? What the fuck? How is that sexualized, bro? <laughs> can you describe it for our audio listeners? Uh, it looks like a My Little Pony pony. No, people sexualize yeah. My Little Pony ponies, actually. Oh, there's, uh, there's so, yeah, yeah, the bronies. <laughs> yes. uh, but it's like a horse with like hair, long hair, uh, tail, and has a little blanket, uh, oh, yeah. braids. You could braid the horse's hair. Uh, the doll's clothes look like they are part of the doll. You can't take them off and be weird. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it comes with a brush. It does. And she's wearing hey. like... Fully Boots, full sleeves, full pants, all sleeves, <laughs> covered yep. leggings. Yeah, like and if the hair is too much for you, there it comes with a hat. It comes with well. she has a little hat to put. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a little, little hat. Yeah. Oh, uh, and there are beads for 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 the horse's hair. Yeah. Uh, I gotta so, say, uh, <laughs> I would not spend more than a second wondering if this is an okay present to buy. Maybe I'm ignorant, but I feel like this is a very clearly a child's toy. Uh, oh, not yeah. Barbie, uh, and I also would not hesitate for a second to buy a Barbie. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Especially I think nowadays, with the, out. with the with the popularity of Barbie coming back with the movie, like it's very common. I think so. Yeah. Uh, but yes, yeah. this is and the honestly, movie. if you're getting a kid a Barbie, that's like low key could be an investment. Just tell them to keep True. that shit in the box. <laughs> I mean, You'll I thank me so. later. Don't play with it. <laughs> Uh, so Sean hits on an interesting, uh, part, uh, the fucking money, man. <laughs> so, uh, there were some comments that brought this to, to light. So winter lower score department, lower score eight, seven said this mom. Uh, and this was, I I've confirmed these, uh, in the comments from OP. So, uh, they said this mom is keeping the boxes and selling the toys. Uh, in another post, it was talked about how she actually sold a new dress that was given to her daughter and also kept the boxes uh, for the toys in order to sell them. The mom is just throwing a fit so she can make it look like she's not the bad guy. <sighs> Damn. So you <laughs> asshole. So they're doing what I think you should do, but instead yeah. of like saving the money for the daughter, <laughs> somebody's got to tell her they're going to make much more money once they sell it later. What are you selling a brand new toy you just got out of the store? That's not going to do you any good. Wait for that to become sold out is everywhere, the and mom then you sell the it. <laughs> The mom's an idiot. <laughs> is the mom is the mom the maid's of maid of honor's best friend? Like yeah, yeah. They're like the is same that, people. Is that the theme of today's episode? Is thieves? Yes, thieves. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. That's fucking um, crazy. Wait, so they can op confirm that? Op confirm that uh, they're keeping that the they boxes. Well, that she's sold toys before, um, mm, and oh, she's that's unsure. Crazy. And I'm paraphrasing, so don't quote me on this, but she's unsure if the sister-in-law is actually saving the money for her daughter or not. So 
I mean, if you're really trying to save money, you would just keep it under lock and then sell it later. <laughs> what are you doing? You, you, they could buy it in store now. Why are they going to buy yeah. it from your little shop? You know what I'm saying? You're selling for less than retail. <laughs> you're making bad financial decisions here. <laughs> Sean with a master class right now for free. I yeah, like what about, you know, Why would I buy a toy from somebody at the same cost that I could go to the store and buy? Wait till it's sold oh. out. What are you doing? I like that Sean's mad, but not for the reason I expected. No. So this is interesting. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's like make more money. Yeah, you fucking you're, idiot. You're wasting your time. Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, that's funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. So yeah, everyone deemed not the asshole, obviously, for OP. Uh, Damn, we were wrong. Not a sexualized toy. And, you know, the mom's clearly just pocketing money off these toys. So uh, crazy. <laughs> kind of wild, <laughs> uh, but not for Sean. Apparently, apparently the wild part is that she's not, she ain't doing it right. <laughs> she's not doing yeah, it the right the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next one here we got is cross posted by first per Sean energy. Another go. Ooh. And the title is, am I the butt face for accusing my girlfriend of bra- baby trapping me? Shout out of uh, first per Sean energy. I want to say they're the person that informed, uh, that uh, Reddit user who John was, I want to oh, say. I was gonna oh. go. I was gonna go into that for my next episode. <laughs> yeah, we'll bring it up later I again. The story. But I think first, first, uh, Pershawn Energy defended humbled. you there. That's Thank funny. You, first, Pershawn Energy. Uh, so humbled. What do you think on the story, John? Wait, repeat the title again. Uh, am I the butt face for accusing my girlfriend of baby trapping me? Uh, I don't like accusations, and in this scenario. Uh, you could also use condoms. You also can use precautions. So I'll go, yeah. Okay. Sean? Yeah, I'm rocking with John. I'm going to go, yeah. All right. All right. Well, let's hop into it. So I'm using a throwaway account because she is on here too. I just need to vent and mostly get an outside opinion. You don't think she's going to fucking see this? <laughs> Bro. Wow, this is the going to blow up. Same situation. Sorry. <laughs> uh, he also uses like a... a a name that I'm like, this not could sure be his real name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my girlfriend Kelly is 23 and I am 27. Also breaking the Sean rule. Uh, side part of the story, but we've been together for about a year and a half. She is lovely, kind, smart, and compassionate. Wait, a year and, and a half. So that's like 20, 21, and half. 25 and 21 21 and a half. And he was 25. Ooh, okay, <laughs> <All right. laughs> it's not the worst we've seen. But no, yeah. it's, it's like right the on the edge. It's probably yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah, but you're that's like the the people waiting for eighteen year olds to become eighteen. And they're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's Can't wait till I can take your ass to the bar. It's yeah. midnight. <laughs> <laughs> not great, uh, bud. Fucking but drink. fine. <laughs> but fine. But pushing uh, it. She's overall everything I've been looking for. I didn't have much experience with relationships as sex before I met her. Uh, but she did. I've been on the fence about having children before I met her, and Kelly has always wanted children. She told me she wanted one within the next few years, but not right now as we are not stably, uh, stable enough financially. After time and falling more in love with her, my feelings on it changed, and I would love to have a family with her in the future. Just not now. This might be too much information, so just a little warning. For the first year of our relationship, I always used condoms. Over the last six to seven months or so, We do not use them every time, maybe like 50 to 60%. I pull out (laughs) and I made sure to to do it a long while before I actually finish. I just happened one day in the heat of the moment and she didn't seem to have a problem with it, with not using them either, as long as I did pull out. Let me tell you, this is not a fucking baby (laughs) trap. You just got too excited one time, dude. You fucking idiot. There's a little tickle in your pickle and a little bit of the juice came out a little too early, buddy. Yeah, this guy has not had sex ed education, like classes. Also, the pullout Um, method, guys, if you're not trying to have kids, I do not suggest the pullout method. I don't know the percentage, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like low. It, it's you're you're almost guaranteed if you do it enough, you will have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> this weekend, she comes over in a panic and she tells me she's pregnant. I don't know what to do. So I just stare at the test for a minute and ask her how this is possible <laughs> since the chances were so low. <laughs> Buddy, <laughs> you're way you're way too old to be thinking the chances are low for that. <laughs> Yeah. You are at your big age of 27. You should know better. Big age. Big age. 
the internet then uh, the internet says there's an eight to ten percent chance. Uh, so I don't know if you're not, you know, math inclined, but ten percent chance means if you do it ten times, it's going to happen once. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, so I told her that I was highly doubtful that it was an accident and she started sobbing. I haven't spoken to her since Friday, since we both need time to collect our thoughts. You piece of shit. Part yeah. of me trusts her and believes that it, this might have been an accident. But the more I think about it, the fishier it seems. Although How did this might- happen? <laughs> I only came in her a couple of times. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. That's it. It only takes one time. That's I don't know how, what to tell you. How baby making <laughs> that's works. How, yeah, that's kind of how that sex thing works. Talk to him, Sean. Yeah, yeah, As someone who didn't talk. have sex for so long, let me teach you some shit. <laughs> uh, although I might have given her mixed messages, when she gets drunk, she tells me she wants a baby. And the next morning, she says that she's so embarrassed that she was just in her feels. I have told her things such as our baby would be so cute and that I would love to do that with her, but I don't know if this... This was her plan all along before we were ready. To clarify, I have pulled out every time. Maybe I didn't convey that well, and I pull out well before I finish. Uh, Run that sentence back, because I feel like it said you definitely... Well, one time... (laughs) In the heat of the moment. Yeah, yeah. uh, Verbatim in the heat of the moment. Yeah, you fucker. Don't lie. So... Uh, we do not have sex without a condom every time, half the time at most, and only for a few months so far. That's a lot of math. <laughs> so, am I the asshole? Yes, absolutely. Yes. You're also a Dude. statistic. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, okay. I, I, I will say this. like, I For guys, if you don't want unplanned pregnancy, don't put it on the women for them to have like, you know, birth control and all that. That yeah. does so much like fucked up shit to their bodies already as it is your peepee is the one that shoots the bullets buddy put that safety <laughs> on all right shit it's your responsibility you're the one that has shit coming out of your dick why are you gonna put that on the women to have like the you know the contraceptive bro like it's your fault <laughs> like Man, you're definitely for for years i've been preaching that we need to get like a, a male uh like uh contraceptive they're always like oh yeah the next one's coming it's coming soon it's coming soon and he came soon that's why she's pregnant (laughs) uh but but then they always like they never come out with the the product and i'm like this they're like we got to make sure there's there's more tests and and that it's not you know oh but you can put all these damn crazy shit for women to have yeah what do you think birth control does to women uh exactly (laughs) hormones and stuff like that and iud's have their own like issues um, most women I know have said it's the most painful thing they've ever had. It's, it's awful. So, uh, yeah, dude, make sure that you take a sex course and, uh, realize that, uh, wearing condoms is the only method that is almost a hundred percent. Um, mm-hmm. and when they say abstinence is a hundred percent, that's bullshit. That's not sex. So <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, Reddit deemed asshole, as I'm sure we can all imagine. And first person energy says louder for those in the back. The pullout method doesn't work. Honestly, mm-hmm. it's almost more surprising that she didn't get pregnant sooner. You're the asshole. OOP. I hope you read the comments and realize how badly you fucked up. Pray that you're not too late to salvage your relationship. And I feel bad for your girlfriend. That is true. It's a hundred percent. Cause yeah, he kind of just accused her of cheating on him your first reaction is is to be like <laughs> to blame I her i think you fucking <laughs> cheated on me or yeah. i think you fucking planned this long game mm-hmm. which it's is crazy rewriting history crazy yeah uh, press the button josh you need to take a long look in the mirror bud oh yeah it's been yeah. a while sean said it perfectly <laughs> uh 20 episodes ago or whatever it was uh <laughs> <but> <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, if you want, I don't know, uh, there's nothing that connects to the story. We're taking an ad break. <laughs> wow. Beautiful segue. Yeah. If I, you want to pull out from your kitchen duties. <laughs> Whoa. I don't like that. <laughs> We're going to go to the sponsors. Now. If you're trying to fertilize some eggs. <laughs> <laughs> what is that in reference? Try to? the breakfast it, at factor. <laughs> you want to glaze there. the chicken. <laughs> Factor is not a sponsor anymore. Oh, who's our sponsor? <laughs> we'll go oh, into shit. the ad break. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. Uh, stay tuned. Need therapy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All right, and we are back from fertilizing eggs or whatever Sean said. I'm not sure. How yeah. you like your eggs? Yeah, fried, fried or fertilized. fertilized. <laughs> fried or fertilized. Jesus. <laughs> Let me smack it, oh. girl. Smash it in. Let me smash <laughs> Oh, oh damn. Right. What was well, his name? The... Shout out to the old classic. Young is it Young Hummer? It, it's Young something. Young, I think it was Young Hummer. Josh, do you know what we're talking about? I have no idea what you're talking Holy about. Holy shit, but... maybe it's an American. Oh man. Thing. Never mind. <laughs> All right. So this <laughs> next one is cross posted. Uh like I said, I got two from them. Dog Midscore Vader. Ooh. Uh slowly becoming a goat, I guess. Title is for this one, Am I the Asshole for Not Wanting to Help My Wife with Halloween costumes? Yes. Sounds like your wife is pretty excited and you're shutting it down instead of coming up with solutions. Uh, so, yeah, I'll say you're an asshole for not being excited with your wife. Ditto. D- ditto. Okay. Sir, no buddy. Expan- nothing. nothing United we stand. Divided we fall. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. We're going to have to get rid of this competition. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's working. It leads to less predictions. You know, <laughs> it's all the same. Um, all right. So for context, my wife, 29 female, always makes the kids Halloween costumes. We have three kids, five female, seven male and nine male. She did not have an amazing childhood. And so I think she is constantly trying to make sure our kids do. She home makes every birthday cake, DIYs, the birthday decorations, makes pajamas for every holiday and always home makes the Halloween costume. She also does these theme movie monthly movie nights where she creates this whole scene. For example, this month was Coraline, so she custom-made dolls for each kid, a welcome home cake, and the whole food spread. Jeez. Jeez that's all. That's a lot of work. doing the most. Holy shit. For real. That sounds awesome. This is great and all, but the problem is she expects me to help. <laughs> all, of, all our kids are in activities. We both have full-time careers, and I believe she stretches herself thin to try and do all this, and also expects me to. We have the money to just go out and buy stuff, so I don't get why we are doing. We have to do so much. She says these are the things the kids will remember. This all came to a head as I've been out of town most of the month for work, so she's had to shoulder the full responsibility of the kids. This caused her to be behind on making the costume, and she's stressed out. She was asking me if I'd be able to help create one of the costumes for her. She has the supplies and can walk me through it. The problem is I just don't feel like it. I told her we could go get a cheap costume. It's not a big deal. Well, she refused and was up all night finishing these costumes. I told her this morning that they all look awesome and she just rolled her eyes at me. She was making coffee and I asked if she'd make me a cup and she replied. You fucking lazy (laughs) bastard. You lazy (laughs) fucking bastard. You didn't get the hint from the eye roll and from her fucking staying up all night to make the costume. And then you're still going to be like, hey, let me get one of those too, though. That looks good. You stupid fucking idiot. Holy shit. (laughs) So (laughs) I asked her if she'd make me a cup and she replied, go buy one. (laughs) Good. 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 She's been distant and cold. I was talking to my coworker and he called me out saying my wife is right. My kids will remember the effort my wife put in and they'll also remember how hard I made it for her. Now I'm feeling off and maybe I'm the asshole, but at the same time, I usually do help a bit. I was thinking this one time wouldn't be a big deal since we were both tired. So am I the asshole? Look, if yeah. you you say no, let's go buy it. And she's like, all right, well, fuck you then. And then you notice that she's not coming to bed and she's staying up all night. Get your fucking ass up and fucking help, help make the goddamn <laughs> costumes. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You can't, when that happens, you can't just go to bed and be like, damn. That sucks. That's crazy. That's she's crazy, crazy dude. Lisa, <laughs> damn, I said buy it. She says she's still going to make it. That's crazy. And then be like, yeah, make me some coffee too. He's, no, absolutely <laughs> fucking not. Go to Starbucks, uh, you idiot. Yeah, this guy buy her some, buy her coffee. While and then you're at the it. fucking yeah. you should know you fucked up by going to bed. And then you wake up, and you're like, wow, they look sick. And then she rolls her eyes. Sign number two, you fucked up. And then for her, for you to request the coffee after that is so <laughs> insane, bro. Crazy, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I gotta agree with everything that Sean said. Wanted just to add a little bit more info though, or like uh, add a little bit more context to it too. Uh, you did say that your wife did not have like the best childhood growing up. So you do acknowledge that that was her experience, right? 
And yet she's trying to do everything she can to make sure that your kids have the, like, you know, those memorable childhood experience. Yeah. So um, you acknowledge that she had that issue. Granted, there might be some parts where I'm like, okay, maybe there are times, maybe she is spreading uh, herself a little thin, right? Uh, maybe some of the, 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 the plans she does, maybe a little too elaborate and you're not into that type of shit. What you suggested, like maybe you can buy like store-bought costume. I think that's an okay suggestion, but you need to communicate a, as a husband. You just don't say, hey, let's just buy a, co- like a store-bought costume. You gotta say like, hey, we, we can buy a store, uh, store-bought costume and this is why. So have your whys and have that conversation with your wife and say like, hey, maybe you're, you're doing a lot. Like maybe we can like, you know, compromise and just buy something. So, you know, we can plan something else. You just got to find that middle ground because right now you're just, you know, you're just leaving her to her own thing and you're not helping out. You're not, you know, you're not doing anything. And essentially you're fucking creating more work for her and you're not supporting her um, and you're not supporting your kids. So you just got to grow up, have that conversation and y'all need to talk it out that if you think that she's spreading herself too thin, give her reasons why that is. I also wonder how much he's helping with like other shit, like kids with full activities. Like, is he the one driving them to the things? Because all he said is. I help out a bit, so I thought it'd be okay. <laughs> what is a bit, brother? Because well, she sounds mm-hmm. like she's doing a lot. Yeah, and, a and bit. the other thing I was going to mention was he was away for that month. So yeah. she was doing a lot of the work by herself. A hundred percent of the work. For yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so he's uh, like not carrying his weight in this scenario uh, for sure. Uh, because if she's taking care yep. of the kids the least you could do is be like i'll do the costumes you know what i mean like you've taken care of them this month i'll do this part uh and take that off your plate for you because yeah, why if, if you know that she makes it every single year and then you also know you're going to be out for the whole month you got to be like all right i'm going to be out she's going to be taking care of the kids she's probably not going to have time to make the costumes like you should be mentally prepared to do everything like Something. you should when you come back from work you should be mentally prepared to just take a hundred percent of it yeah because you were gone you were gone so and she has a full-time job too like you said so yeah Yeah. she's not getting that break that you are so (laughs) i don't understand yeah uh yeah uh so reddit deemed asshole obviously and i i shouldn't say obviously i say obviously all the time but this one was obvious (laughs) it was pretty obvious some of them yeah some of them aren't as obvious and i say obviously but that's my own problem i'll figure that out uh so spooked obsessed scott said you're the asshole i was on the fence until the i don't feel like it and the coffee comment Mm -hmm. i mean really crazy (laughs) coffee comment is crazy that was nuts uh i mean really guy you were away for a month and she had to deal with the kids herself then she asked Mm -hmm. for help and rather than you ordering you guys ordering food putting some music on and having a night together finishing the costume you decided it wasn't worth the effort the worst part was the audacity of asking her to pour slash make you a coffee from the, the following morning when you knew she'd been stressing all night. It's also about how we make things work, being there when we see our partner struggling. Uh, this also includes when we ourselves are burnt out. You could have had a nice night with your missus and you fudged it. A, she might be a little, little bit over the top when it comes to going the extra mile for your kids, but isn't that what makes it magical? As someone who grew up with a shitty childhood, I applaud her for her efforts. Everything you guys said and a little bit of extra on the top where it's like, yeah, if you really think about it, if you had helped her, it would have taken half the time. You would have had more fun and it would have been, uh, you know, it probably would have helped de-stress her to have someone help her. Honestly, like the bare minimum thing that he could probably just done, like maybe he did say like, oh, this is not my shit. I don't feel like it. At least keep her company the night. You know what I mean? (laughs) She probably would have appreciated that shit. At a minimum. Yeah. At the very bare minimum. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So he gives a going bit of an up. Sleep is so <laughs> going straight to sleep is asshole. Being in bed and then being like, "Damn, she she really ain't coming to bed." Damn, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> that's crazy. She fucking out there still. <laughs> Fuck. Can't wait for my 99. morning coffee. <laughs> Could it be me? <laughs> uh, so he gives an update. He says, "We are fine. We sat and talked, and we laughed about how I'm getting shitted on on all these social media platforms." Oh, good. That's good. us. Hi. It's, it, we're Hello. the problem. Uh, we carved pumpkins with the kids. Uh, we've been together since we were 16 and we've been married for nine. So no one is going anywhere. I love my wife. I love my kids and I am very present, active husband and father. Happy Halloween. Um, I disagree with some of that, but 
I think I think this is like uh, no one's going anywhere until she gets fed up with my shit. So <laughs> <laughs> you can make mistakes. Just don't make a, every time. You know what I mean? Is it um, so death do us? You don't help me make costumes at night. <laughs> that's what the saying is, isn't it? <laughs> it? I'm pretty sure. That's what me and John said at uh, both of our weddings. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so death do in. us, uh, you know. You better help out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that's funny. All right. That is it for this episode, Wikimaniacs. What did you think? Were these people assholes? Let us know down in the comments on YouTube, Discord, or on our subreddit. Um, if you want to hear more, please consider joining our patron where we heard an absolutely anger inducing story. Uh, boy, that last one, uh, hit hard. So, uh, go to patreon.com slash cultivate podcast network. If you want to hear those stories as well as unlock bonus episodes and early episodes as well as ad free, uh, don't forget you can submit your own. Am I the asshole stories to our subreddit and you can cross post your favorite. Am I the asshole subreddit, uh, stories, uh, to r slash reddit on wiki. Thank you, Sean and John, for coming on today. Thank you, Wikimaniacs, for another amazing episode. Say bye to John for a week. He will be in Japan. So any Japanese I'm still listeners, hosting the next episode. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> that's Don't true. Don't listen to him. The if next you're a Friday <laughs> only because you're racist, then say bye to John for a little bit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, John will be on next Friday. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so say bye to John. And if you're in Japan, say hi to John. But you won't oh, recognize me. Well, maybe not. <laughs> bye. Bye. Later. A rocky relationship <laughs> for 20 years? For 20 years? I don't know. Years. You might just want to call it quits. <laughs> that does not sound fun. That doesn't sound happy marriage. at all. Yeah.